Hello everyone, in this video I will test the Intel Arc A770 in Blender rendering to see if the resizable bar setting in the BIOS is necessary or not. This question has come up online a lot and I wanted to answer it for Blender renders on this video. Um, on the screen you can see me changing the BIOS so that resizable bar is disabled. So um, I've added a line here to my benchmark results, and you can see on this line and on this line, I've got some Blender 3.5 and 3.6 uh, rendering results on the A770. And there was a big improvement due to drivers between Blender 3.5 and 3.6. So um, we're gonna test without resizable bar, and this is on the same machine. So let me sign into that real quick. Um, I'll pull up the task manager here so you can see it's the same i5-10400 CPU with uh, 32 gigs of RAM at 3200 megahertz and there is the Arc GPU so just to help prove that resizable bar is disabled the um, support assist and um, the Intel Arc control programs are both complaining about me not enabling the resizable bar. Uh, so let's go into the settings here. So right here, you can see it says resizable bar is disabled. Um, it is supported on this motherboard, but I have disabled it manually. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. Let's... Uh, let's run a few benchmark scenes and compare them to the other results that I've got. So let's just get right into it. I am going to open up Blender. This is Blender 3.6. And I'm using uh, the newest drivers. So that should all be uh, helping us get the maximum performance still. And um, Intel Ombre will be enabled for this um, set of tests as well. So that should be consistent with my other Blender 3.6 tests. Um, I'll switch this to GPU compute. We'll go into preferences. Okay, so you can see in cycles, I'm using one API on the Arc A770 and Ombre on GPU is enabled. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this image. Okay, so just past 45 seconds. So let's go log that on our uh, results page here. So we're going to, we're just going to call it 45. It was just a little over. Um, and we'll swing back at the end and kind of compare everything. So let's move right on to the barbershop scene. And like I said, this is the same computer that I tested um, this GPU in originally. So nothing else is different except for the rebar setting. I'm just going to switch to GPU compute. I'm running frame 100, which is what I always do in this scene. We'll check the preferences to make sure everything's selected. It looks like it's good to go. And we will render the image. Okay, the barbershop scene took three minutes and 16 seconds, which is 196 seconds. So let's go log that, 196. Stick around till the end, we'll go, we'll go through these more mathematically and we'll, we'll make a conclusion. Uh, but this is the scan lands which is the Blender 3.3 LTS splash screen. Um, everything is the same, same settings on this one, so let's go ahead and render this image. Okay, so the scan land scene took two minutes and eight seconds, which is 128 seconds, so let's go log that. 128 seconds is what it took on the scan land scene, so I'll save that. Um, and now let's go through and we will isolate just the um, Intel Arc A770 results, and then uh, we can kind of see what the impact of not having resizable bar is. So we're going to select just the A770 results. We'll hit OK. Now it pulls up these. This is with 3.6 new drivers. Uh, this is the same technically but no resizable bar, okay? So why this matters. Um, when people buy these for rendering farms, which is what I did, um, 
they want to be able to throw the GPU into an older system. So minor old Dell T3600 precision uh, workstations. And this GPU would be great in that machine, except if we sort this um, without the ability to add resizable bar in the, in the BIOS, because that's not an option on older machines, um, we get a significant hit to performance without, uh, you know, anything we can do about it. So let's, let's look. So this top result was the newest drivers on Blender 3.6, and it took 38 seconds. Then in second place, uh, Blender 3.6 with new drivers took 45, but this is without resizable bar. Okay, so we lost seven seconds. It took seven, uh, seven seconds longer to run the scene. And then um, five more seconds was the, the Blender 3.5 with older Intel drivers. We're still, getting, we're still getting a little benefit from the new driver, just, but just five seconds, whereas we would get 12 seconds of benefit in the classroom scene. Um, so you lose you lose seven seconds of performance for no reason if you do not enable resizable bar. So let's go to barbershop scene. Now where this is really going to start to matter is where you have heavier scenes because you're going to spend hours and hours rendering, and any little percentage difference is going to be uh, a big problem. So let's sort these. This is 3.6 new drivers. I'll go ahead and copy that text. We'll put it right in there. So um, barbershop scene, exact same result basically. So um, everything optimized on the ARC A770 with new drivers in Blender 3.6, we get 173 seconds. Uh, everything optimized except no resizable bar. It jumps up 23 seconds. We lost 23 seconds of performance. Uh, to 196 seconds, and that is only four seconds faster than uh, the old drivers with Blender 3.5. So um, significant, significant loss in performance. On this scene, we lost 11.7% of the performance just to not have resizable bar enabled. So if you're willing to take that hit um, and the ARC GPUs are still worth it to you, then that's fine. But going from 173 to 196 uh, seconds on this test is not great because imagine an animation, you're gonna do that thousands of times in a row. So you're gonna lose a lot of time and spend a lot of power for no reason. And we're gonna go to the scan land scene and we'll set this up the exact same way. We're gonna select only the Intel Arc, filter by fastest time. And the reason, the reason that the drivers matter is because when Blender 3.6 came out, Intel had a brand new uh, graphics driver for the Arc GPUs, and it made a huge difference in performance. So between Blender 3.5 and 3.6, you got a lot of performance boost for no, uh, for no cost. But as you can see, Blender 3.6 with new drivers took 109 seconds. 3.6 with new drivers, but resizable bar turned off took an extra 19 seconds. And then, um, so that one's actually a little closer to the Blender 3.6 result with everything optimized. And then the uh, old drivers on Blender 3.5 did this scene in 175. You lose 14.85% of your performance if you don't have resizable bar enabled. Okay, so um, it looks like 11, uh, 14, and if you can't enable resizable bar, you're going to take a 10 to 15 or more percent loss on your render time or on your speed, and that's not a good deal. So if you can't enable rebar or resizable bar in your machine, then um, Intel GPUs are not currently a good option. So be aware of that. Uh, I think you have to have AMD X400 series motherboards are higher, or um, Intel, it's probably about the same, four or 500 plus series motherboards. Otherwise, you can't even enable this setting. So uh, be very aware of that, but I just wanted to test. So 
just to say it one more time in case people skip to the end, without being able to enable resizable bar, Intel Arc GPUs are not worth it at this time. So don't buy them for older machines. Be careful with compatibility. You know, I like them if you can make them work, but um, like even most of my machines don't support resizable bar. So unfortunately, uh, that's just a thing you have to be careful with. And it's kind of a, a red mark against the Intel Arc GPUs, which I otherwise enjoy and have had good results with for their price. But um, yeah, so that's that's what I found tonight. Like, sub, and hit all those magic YouTube buttons for me if you want to so that I can keep doing more of these tests and hopefully get more hardware going forward. Uh, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.